Hi, this is Tim Schwab, producer on Heroes of Ruined in Space. Today I'm excited to show off my favorite character class in the game, the Architect. The Architect is one of the more challenging classes to play in Heroes of Ruin. She's great for players who like to bombard enemies from afar and really control the battlefield. Plus, she has some of the coolest looking attacks in the entire game. She does have less health though, and she doesn't have that same level of mobility as the Gunslinger. But if you don't mind playing Keep Away, and you like having a few tricks up your sleeve, the Architect may be the perfect class for you. So here I am in the Void Dungeon as a level 20 Architect. I'm going to show you guys some of her really amazing abilities and also some of the tactics you might use when you're playing as her. You see me doing a little bit of keep away here using my arcane bolts, which are these really cool homing projectiles she has. You'll see some of these attacks I'm using are really high level. You won't start the game with these, but you, you can really look forward to these as you're leveling up your architect. Uh, looks like I'm about to dispatch a few mantids here. I'm of course in a solo game now, but as we all know, I could play with up to three more of my buddies in local or online multiplayer with voice chat. This is my phalanx attack. This thing is amazing. It's one of my favorites to use. Okay, I'm also going to use up some of my buffs here. You see I just triggered the Energize, which gives me a lot of energy and a little bit of a speed boost as well. One really cool thing about the Alkatech that she benefits probably more than anyone else from is that I can switch my powers on the fly just by tapping the power icon on the lower screen. That way you're not just tied to the three that you've got mapped to the buttons. You can fling through them as much as you want on the fly without going to any menus. That's something that she really benefits from because she's got so many crazy cool tools and you can see me using a lot of them right here. Now as the Architect, you do need to be careful to manage your energy use. She goes through energy fast with these awesome moves, and you will have to rely on melee a little bit. But, as soon as energy's back, I like to go back to some of my heavy hitters because they're just pretty cool. Great, so it looks like some loot has dropped over here. I want to clear out the area before grabbing it. If I wanted to, I could just go quick pick it up right now, but I like to uh, examine it first, see if it's actually worth a spot in my inventory. Right now, you can see I'm on fire. These uh, flame imps are no joke. Another cool thing is how some powers will evolve as you upgrade them, like my arcane bolts. You start with two of them, but by the end, you've got a swarm of them. It's pretty fun. Standing over Fallen Loot gives you a quick look at the stats of how it's going to change your character. Look good, so I picked it up. I'm going to go into my inventory screen and show you how that works. So I'm going to go down to torso pieces because I picked up a torso piece. Highlighting over any piece of armor you have will show you exactly how it changes your stats. This one increases my armor, so of course I want to put it on. You do immediately see it appear in your character, which is very cool. And this shows you exactly how much customization there is in our game. There's so much loot that my architect is always going to look different than yours, and it's really cool just to walk around and see yourself evolve over time. Before I go too much further, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to show you guys a skill tree and purchase a new power. I'm going to go over here and all the way down. I'm going to purchase a solar beam. It says here the solar beam is a channel blast of fiery power, which what Alcatech couldn't use that. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. Right here, guys, I'm going to give you a pro tip. Remember that all the powers in the game were created to complement each other. So what I'm doing is I'm throwing out the gravity bomb. What it does is it sucks all the enemies into one spot, stunning them, making them sitting ducks for my high-powered solar beam. Experiments find other combos within her bag of tricks. Not only in Heroes of Ruin do we have really amazing enemies, we also have some pretty special mini-bosses and some really amazing end bosses. This is an example of one of our mini-bosses. This is the Blade Devil. Many bosses and end bosses in our game always have really cool special abilities, and the Blade Devil's no different. You can see here he's got those giant blades on his arms, and he'll do the spinning attack, and afterwards he'll be dizzy, giving you an opportunity to approach and attack him. Now, each of the special encounters in our game does require a different approach. As not to give anything away in this battle, we're actually going to jump to the end and show him defeated. We do have a lot of gameplay variety in here as a rune as well. You see a puzzle appear right here, but before that, I want to come over here and show you that once you defeat a boss, you also get boss treasure. And who doesn't love treasure? This could be good. Nice. Got some epic gear here. Fantastic. And I got some stuff for the savage here. I'm going to go ahead and sell. It'll put it into the trader's network, and I can sell it via Street Pass. So I'm going to go ahead and interact with the puzzle here to show you a little bit about what the puzzle does. I'm not going to give away the solution, although it is randomized every time you play, as is much of our game. But just to show you a little bit of the variety we do have here in Heroes of Ruin, there are quite a few puzzles throughout the experience. Jump to the end and show it solved without giving anything away. Now that I've completed my quest here in the Soul Void, I'm headed back to Nexus to stock up on items, sell unwanted loot, and continue on my journey to find the cure for the curse on our founder, Ataraxis. Of course, 
It's never quite that simple, is it? It seems that all of our adventuring has caught the eye of an interested party. My, my, you've been busy. But I am not going to give anything away at this time. Watch for Heroes of Ruin, coming soon exclusively to the Nintendo 3DS.